Hi, I'm Phil. And I'm Jim. And we will be supporting your projects by prototyping your ideas. Today we will introduce you to the available process and materials here in the MA Student Workshop and in Monash Makerspace. We have a range of materials to use, sheet, solid and hollow section in steel and aluminium. We also have a range of fasteners and zinger products. Finally, we have a range of acrylic and polypropylene sheet. These are some of the general hand tools that we have available for cutting, filing, sawing and measuring. To support electronics applications, we have Arduino, breadboards, solar stations, wire and crimp components. We can also support specific electrical components on a case-by-case -case basis. 3D printers are available and can print in PLA. These are excellent for complex, light-duty parts. There are limitations in speed, but they can reliably achieve a 0.25mm volume. The laser cutter is also available to use. These are excellent for 2D components that can then be built up into 3D assembly. This machine can cut acrylic and polypropylene up to 6mm thick using 600 by 400mm sheets. We have a range of power tools, including the angle grinder for general cutting operations in metals, the hand drill for general hole drilling capabilities, the jigsaw for cutting shapes into sheet metals, and the scroll saw for cutting more intricate shapes into delicate materials. The guillotine, which can quickly and accurately cut sheet metals down to size. We also have a cold saw, which can cut solid and hollow section metals down to length. We have a bare saw, which is really good for making cutouts of different shapes, and also really good for cutting materials that we can't cut with the cold saw or the guillotine. Welding can be used to fuse compatible metals together to create more complex parts from simple parts. We can weld aluminium and steel. Here we have a lathe, which is used for turning round components out of most materials. Generally, we use a solid stock, which is located in the chuck, and the tool can be moved relative to it. To make non-round components, we use a mill. The tool is rotating and the stock is fixed. This machine can move orthogonally in all three axes. The drill press is a simple mill, a quick and easy way to precisely drill holes. We also have a CNC lathe and mill. These have the same capabilities as a manual lathe and mill, but can also machine in multiple axes simultaneously. 